So I have finished adding all of the single crochets to my marked section, but as you can probably tell, the back of my work is starting to um, shift over to the right a little bit, and that's normal, but I'm going to actually move my marked stitches a couple of stitches to the left. So I'm going to go two stitches to the left on this side, and then I'm going to single crochet twice on this side. And then I'm going to move my second marked stitch over. And now that's going to be the new area for my back. Um, as you're working, your work may also shift to the right, but every time that it goes too far to the right, just replace your stitch markers so that they are in the center of the back. So now I'm just going to continue to add increases to the front of the work. I'm going to add three increases per row. I'm going to do two more rows of adding three increases. So I'm going to increase this first stitch, and then I'm going to go on until I get to the middle and add another increase. Okay, I'm at the middle, so I'm going to increase again. And now I'm going to continue until I get to my next marked stitch. Okay, I've gotten to that marked stitch, so I'm going to increase the stitch before it. And now I'm going to do all of my marked stitches without increasing. Okay, I've gotten to the end of my marked back stitches, so I'm going to do another row with three increases. I'm going to increase the next stitch, and then I'm going to continue to the middle and add another increase. So I've gotten to the middle, so I'm going to do my increase. And now I'm going to continue until I get to the stitch before my marked stitch, so I can increase again. Okay, I've gotten to that last stitch, so I'm just going to increase that. And now I'm going to do my marked stitches. Okay, I've gotten to the end of my marked stitches, and um, I'm actually going to stop increasing the front for this row, but I'm going to continue to mark the back stitches so that I can decrease just the front in the next row. So I'm going to do one row of single crochet so that I can elongate the bust just a little bit. Okay, I've gotten back to my marked stitches, so I'm going to single crochet for all of these marked stitches. Okay, I've gotten to the end of my marked stitches, so now I'm going to start to decrease the front. So just like I did when I increased, I'm going to decrease three stitches from each row. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to pull up a loop in the next two stitches and decrease, and then I'm going to continue until I get to about the middle, and then I'm going to add another decrease. Okay, I'm going to add my decrease. And now I'm going to continue until I get to right next to my next marked stitch, 
and I'm going to do my last decrease. And now that I am at my marked stitches, I'm going to single crochet for all of those. And once again, I'm going to move my marked stitches two stitches down. I'm going to do two single crochet after my second marked stitch. And then I'm going to shift that over. And now I'm going to decrease the front again. So I'm going to decrease the next stitch. And then I'm going to continue until I get to around the middle and decrease again. Okay, I've gotten to the middle, so I'm going to decrease. And now I'm going to continue until I get to my next marked stitch where I'm going to decrease again. Okay, I have two stitches left before my marked stitch, so I'm going to decrease that stitch. And now I'm going to single crochet for all of my marked stitches. So I've gotten to the end of my marked stitches again. I'm going to decrease this row again. So there's my first decrease, and now I'm going to do my middle decrease. Okay, I'm going to do my middle decrease. And here I'm going to do my final decrease of the front. Now I'm going to do my marked stitches again. So once again, I've gotten to the end of my marked stitches, and now I'm going to do my final row of decrease for the bust. So I ended up doing four rows of increase and four rows of decrease for the size of my bust. But if you made a bigger doll, then you may want to add more rows so that your doll's bust will be a little bit bigger. Okay, so I've gotten to the end of my last row of decrease. So now I'm just going to do um, one row of single crochet all the way around. I'm still going to continue to mark the stitches at the back of my doll, but I'm going to do one row of single crochet all the way around before I do my doll's stomach. So I've just gotten to the end of my marked back stitches. 
So I'm going to start to increase the front to make the stomach. Now if you don't want your doll to have a larger stomach, then you could just um, continue for a couple of rows of single crochet before creating the um, rear. But I'm going to increase the doll's stomach a little bit. I'm going to add three increases to the front. So once again, I'm going to increase this stitch right after my stitch marker. And then I'm going to single crochet until I get to the middle. And then I'm going to add another increase in the middle. Okay, I'm at the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and increase this stitch. And now I'm going to continue until I get to my next stitch marker, and I'm going to increase the stitch right before it. Okay, I've gotten to that marked stitch, so I'm going to increase the stitch before it. And then I'm just going to continue and do my single crochets for the back until I get to my second stitch marker. Okay, I've gotten to my second stitch marker, so I'm back to the front of my work. So I'm going to add another row of increase. If your doll has, has a big enough stomach after your first row of increase, then you don't have to add another row. But I'm going to continue to increase. And this is going to be my last row of increase for the stomach, but if you want your doll's stomach to be even bigger, then you could just continue to do increases until your doll's stomach reaches the right width. So now I'm just going to single crochet until I get to the middle, where I'm going to add another increase. Okay, here's my second increase, and now I'm going to go on until I get to where I'm going to put my third increase. Okay, I've just done my last increase of the stomach. So now I'm going to do my marked stitches for the back. Okay, I've gotten to the end of my marked stitches. And now I'm going to add three more rows of single crochet without increasing, but I'm going to continue to mark the back of my work so that I can increase the back for the next step. So I'm just going to do three more rows of single crochet all the way around, and I'm going to continue marking those stitches at the back. So I've gotten to the end of three more rows of single crochet all the way around, um, but before I continue with the next step, I'm going to move my stitch markers over two stitches to the left. Just to keep it from moving too far to the right. I'm going to finish up the row. And now for this next row, I'm going to start to increase the back so that she can have a curvy rear. So I'm going to move my stitch marker. And just like I did when I was increasing the front, I'm going to just increase the first stitch, the middle stitch, and the last stitch of my back section. So I'm going to increase this stitch that I've got my stitch marker in. And I'm going to go on for a couple more stitches and I'm going to increase around the middle. Okay, I'm going to increase this next stitch. And 
and now I'm going to go on until I get to my last marked stitch where I'm going to increase again. And now I'm going to mark that stitch as the last stitch of the back. And now I'm going to start to decrease the front. So I'm going to do the opposite of what I did on the back. I'm going to decrease the first, middle, and last stitch of the front part. So I'm going to pull up a loop in the next stitch and a pull up a loop in the next and crochet together and I'm going to single crochet until I get to the middle okay I'm going to decrease the next stitch and then I'm going to go on until I get to right before this marked stitch and then I'm going to decrease these two stitches Okay, I've gotten to the stitch right before my stitch marker. So I'm going to decrease these two stitches. And now I'm going to continue to increase the back. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker and do the first stitch of my row. And then I'm going to increase that stitch. So back into the same stitch. Then I'm going to go on and increase the middle. Okay, here at the middle I'm going to increase. So I went into the same stitch and now I'm going to continue until I get to my stitch marker stitch and I'm going to increase that stitch. Okay, now that I've gotten to the end of the back section, I'm going to decrease the front one more row. So I'm going to pull up a loop in the next two stitches and crochet together. And I'm going to decrease the middle and the end of this part of my work again. So I'm going to continue until I get to the middle. Okay, I've gotten to the middle, so I'm going to decrease again. And now I'm going to continue to single crochet until I get to the end of this part of my row, so I can do my decreases right here. Alright, that's the last decrease of the row. So I'm going to continue to increase the back the same way that I've been increasing. I'm going to increase this first stitch. So I'm going to go back into the same stitch and single crochet again. Then I'm going to continue until I get to the middle and add another increase in the middle and then continue until I get to my next marked stitch and increase that stitch as well.
okay, I've gotten to the end of three rows of increasing for the back of the doll. And I've done two rows of decreasing the front. So I'm going to stop increasing and decreasing, and I'm going to single crochet for one row. So I've gotten to the end of my row of single crochet, going all the way around, and um, I added only three rows of increase to the back, but if you want your doll's um, rear to be a bit bigger than I've made mine, then you can just continue to add more increases to the back so that it can be a little bit more wide. So I've done my one row of single crochet. And now I'm going to start to decrease all the way around. So I'm going to decrease every third stitch so that I can have a total of six decreases per row. If you made your doll bigger than I, than I made mine, then you might want to increase um, more than every third stitch. Just make sure that you're decreasing six times per row. So I'm going to decrease until the opening here is as wide as I want it to be for both of her legs. So you can decrease for as long as you want to get the um, look that you want, depending on how thin or how wide you want your doll's legs to be. But I'm going to decrease for just one row. And I'm going to remove my second stitch marker because I'm not really going to need it anymore because I'm not going to be adding any more increases or decreases to the front or the back. I'm just going to be going all the way around. Okay, I've gotten to the end of my row. And um, I'm going to single crochet actually until I get to the very middle of the back. So I'm going to continue to single crochet until I get to the middle of the back. And I'm not going to replace my stitch marker because I'm not really going to need it anymore now that I'm going to start to create the legs. So I'm just going to continue to single crochet until I get to the middle of the back. 